You are now tuned in to Urban Exegesis Studios with your host, Dr. Derek Colon. Glad, what's up, man? Thank you, bro, for, for being with us tonight, brother. Yeah, man. Thank you, Doc. Man, you're the man, bro. I've been watching you and what you're doing here, man. And you have fought the fight for all of us, man. Oh, <laughs> and, brother. But you don't have to, man, because we there's a couple of us that are here to show up with you, man. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. So let's cut right to the chase. There's this book that's out. It's called The Birth of Breaking. It's by somebody by the name of Midas uh, Abrahamian. And his, I want to just start right here. His whole premise in this whole book is that breaking starts with the black community and the Puerto Rican community did not come into breaking until 10 years later. I want you to speak to what your thoughts on that are. And then then we'll get into when you first see this, but I want you to talk to, to that in your humble opinion what do you think when you hear that kind of stuff? First of all, I, I, I don't even know who the hell that person is in the whole history until now, right? So, like, if you were relevant and you were there and, and doing these things that mattered, because what you guys were doing was something different, right? Because I don't dance like you guys, and I've been dancing for a very long time. I know that I come from Rojas over here, you know, and, and, and The Rock. That's how we dance. Um, on the top until we started going on the on the dance floor, and most of you guys keep talking about breaking like it's like 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 you guys are spinning around and doing things, man. Doing even footwork, six foot, you know, whatever um, we were doing, but none of you were doing any of that because we never saw you. I never saw any of you guys, and I know that when I was doing this in seventy seven, you know, in seventy eight, seventy nine, when when I took over Dynamic Rockers. It was like 96% Hispanic, as long as that's what I know, right? But I'm not going over here and saying, no, you guys didn't do anything. You guys just want to get everything that you want because that's what you want to do. First of all, look at my skin. I come from Puerto Rico. And so we are kind of the same people. Why is there a hate on us? Why are you hating on us? We don't hate you. I'm just going to keep it honest. So when do you... When do you first see breaking? It was in 77, man. I I, I got to see Frosty Freeze. Um, and, it, and it was funny because, of, like, I had just graduated middle school and he was outside fighting with somebody, right? Then, then he came, like, the next day to Amsterdam Projects to fight another person and they were about to jump him. And me and my brother stopped everybody and said, no, nah, this is going to be a one-on-one. <clears throat> and then the next day, I happened to see him again, and he was at an event. And he's on the floor spinning around, and I was like, what the hell is that? And it changed my life instantly. I immediately started dancing, a script in my face, doing whatever I had to do to learn how to do this, man, because it was my first love, you know, and I still have it as my first love. Well, besides my kids and my wives and stuff like that, just, yeah, whatever. Now, we we definitely know about the history of Dynamic. And, you know, the, 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 the rivalries and, you know, your, your definite contributions. When do Dynamic Rockers uh, begin? So they started in 78. That was Eddie Ed. Eddie Ed was my, my president. I loved Eddie yes. Ed. We were part of the Manhattan Boys at that time. So which is one of the crews that nobody talks about. Because it's a Bronx thing. It's got to be over here. But, you know, Manhattan Boys were no joke. Bingo, Joey Cash. I mean, I can go on and on and on. These guys are doing some stuff. And I learned a lot from them. And so in 79, when I took over, I had in my head a completely different thing for the culture, man, which was to practice all the time. We were doing routines. We changed the way that, that we dress just to like make it so that more people can feel comfortable in this because I wanted the world to see what we were doing. It changed my life. And why not change other people's lives, right? And help them make them feel better about themselves because I was the shyest person on the planet. But when I started dancing, it changed everything for me. There's the famous battle, right? That that uh, Hulu just did a documentary, a great documentary, by the way, um, on the famous battle 
uh, between you and Rocksteady. Um, what what prompted that that the the rivalry? So most of us think of the rivalry between the New York City Breakers and Rocksteady, but you guys, I think, were also like a, a definite rivalry. What prompted this rivalry? Well, the first thing is that they were the best at that time. Let's just let's put it out there. Rocksteady was the number one team during that time. And so, of course, we're going to go after the number one group because that's where we start becoming the number one group, right? You got to go beat them. And so we did. You know, I, I even knocked on Crazy Legs' house in his apartment like six o'clock, I mean, nine o'clock in the morning. He took an hour to come downstairs to battle me because, of course, he had to battle me at that point, right? You can't just somebody knocking on your door and saying, I want to battle with you and you're going to say no, you know, but he was like number five on my list. And that was one of my blessings, man. And so he saw me do windmills and he called it that move. You did that move already. He didn't even know what it was. And he kept saying, oh, you did that move already twice. So I'm like, no, it wasn't twice. This is called a windmill and it's a connector. This is for the future. You just don't know about it yet. And so he didn't like that. And then he started talking about the neck move and all that stuff too. But at the end of the day, they were the crew to beat. We weren't the only ones going after them, right? They used to call us scrubs and everything. And if you see the documentary, literally these people get away with whatever they want. I don't understand that, right? So they're over here saying that they got other people from other crews to battle us, and yet we suck? Like, seriously. And the videos that they made, all of that, if you look at them, they, they're, they're going really fast and we're going really slow. You know, why? I mean, you guys were the best. Why not keep fighting for that instead of, like, doing all this mess, man? You know, at the end of the day, you know, I speak to Mr. Freeze and that guy, I mean, I love that guy. I, I end up loving some Ken. I love that guy. Like this culture belongs to the world. And yes, we were part of it for a long time. Hispanics were running this and, and showing this. And I don't, I, I know people who are ignorant, like people coming from another state talking about that they were involved in this stuff and all of that. Like, stop it. Just stop it. You're a clown. Right. You weren't there. You don't even know about Lincoln Center. And you're going to try to put that down. That was the first time the hip hop was seen, man. You'll be here talking crap. Just stop it. We were the best. They did get better later on. They got a much better crew and they continue to push, you know, and we, we had something that stopped us in between, but we're still here. We silently came back naturally, little by little. Me for a long time, Wavy Lex for a long time, you know, Spinner for a long time. We kept going and going and going. The next thing you know, my son is in charge and he's still crushing it, man. And we're still here. We're probably the only crew that never stopped for 46 years now. Yeah, you know, um, and, and watching the documentary and just hearing a lot of the backstory um, to that battle, which was, you know, um, something that we we have certain footage of it, but tell us what it was like. And I know the doc does this. Maybe you know there might be some people that didn't see the documentary. What was it like? Um, getting off that train, showing up at this spot. Well, first of all, where was the first place you guys battled? Um, I think it it might have been. Um. That was one of the first battles, but I think we battled like in um in um the Bronx, the 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 the, the, the arena, and then we also battled them um at USA, um the, at the Fever. You know, we 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 battled them a couple of different times. You know, and we just kept getting better and better and better. And and at some point, they were just like upset about us. Well, these guys are doing different things. They're doing the acrobatics and all that stuff. Blah blah blah. We were taking you out is what was happening. And we know how to do that, man. We were soldiers. You know, I I, I even took my group out of, you know, going to any um, events or any place for three months. I said, we're not going to show up. We're going to hide. We're going to practice. We're going to get new costumes. We're going to come. And then we walked in the, to the Roxy's in the single line around and everybody's made us legend. They were like, yo, who's that? Yo, that's that's dynamic. You know, you, that's the kind of thing that you need to do is get into people's heads before you even start dancing with them. We had to hope we walked around. We didn't even stop. And then we went, walked around again and we split up. 
And that was the day that Lep took me out. You know, I'm going to be honest about that. So Lep, you know, at that time, I was one of the top people breaking. And next thing you know, is Lep took me out, which everything that he did was perfect and everything I did was not. So wait, 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 wait. We can't just, we, we can't gloss over that. I never heard about this battle. So t- t- tell us about this battle between you and little Lep. So there was a bunch of us and we all spread out, but I ended up with Lep, just me and him in a circle. This fighter was over here and another one was over there. We were all over the place. And then after we battled that one time, so it was me. I, I happened to have him. I was like, yeah, cause he's a legend. Just like, you know, I went to, to, to crazy legs and stuff. I, this now I'm looking at Lep and I've seen him. We've danced against each other, but not like one on one. And I I know that I could have beat him, but he, he was on point. Every single one, his headshot was great. Everything was perfect, you know, and mine wasn't for some reason. Maybe I got shook, whatever it was, he beat me. And I'm on, you know, why not share? That means that he's a legend, right? So we all got to like love each other, man, and treat each other with respect with what we grew here. What we grew here is worldwide now. Just came from the Olympics. And you want to, you know, want to stop breaking because you have this little mindset about it's got to be footwork. It's got to be. No, man, there's so many branches in this. And we have to learn how to get together with this, man, and understand that what we're doing, it, 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 it matters. It matters what we say. It matters. You know, you have a point over here and we respect that. But we have this over here. And then after we battled separately, we got together and we, we were here and there were four crews over here and a dance group, too. And we battled them all. And they didn't move until I looked at each one of them and said, go. Like, I was just standing there watching the moves. I knew my guys, what they knew how to do. What was going to beat that guy? And I would just look at them and go, boom, go get them. That's how they, they hated us, man. We were so different than everybody else. And they so much. They probably lost a lot of things because they were so bitter and angry about what we were doing. And it wasn't what they were doing. We were way up here doing different things. Come on, continuous head spins? Kid Freeze watched me tap and he started tapping. Then he saw me like doing my glide and letting go and he started letting go. That's how that was created. You know why? Because we were battling each other. We didn't have anybody to battle, man. We were battling each other. They were 36th Avenue. We were the Manhattan boys and we would battle each other every week. And that's, that's who we are, man. We, we created things, the thing on the hand, we learned it on the pool. I mean, we can go on and on and on. The elbow spin like this that I did in the Roseland, everybody saw me do it. And yeah, people want to put me down and say that I'm not real, whatever. I don't really care. You know, like talk to the hand. That's how I feel. Like I know what I did and I know what we're still doing. And I just hope that we can somehow unite to a place where we can start building, you know, like, Earning income, not just the, the the dancers, but the DJs and, and having some kind of like, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, man, but just some kind of like where we're challenging each other and we're making money on our own. We, we can get there. We can definitely get there, man. Let's go back. Let's go back a little bit. Thank yes. you. Thank you for sharing that. But let's go back a little bit. So, <clears throat> so we have this, this, this. What was the need? I always wondered about this. What was the need for this? Lincoln Center battle, right? We we take it from USA and other places, the Roxy, and now there's this neutral ground. Like, who initiated this? And the question is, why? So here's the deal. So Legs called me out of nowhere. I was like, what? So, I mean, he must have thought at some point that we mattered, right? Because th- who else was they going to battle? They knew it was going to be epic, and it was. At the end of the day, maybe you guys would have been better if you just would have had your crew, but you had more than one crew there. Lep was there. Lep was not part of, um, you know, and there was other people that were there too. You had poppers there. You had up rockers there that would, didn't belong to you guys. And yet you wanted to battle us. They got, they got so mad when I used, cause I was again with my brain. I had a six year old little kid that was doing one shot and he was like going around like one or two times. And so I used it. And I put him out there. His name was Henry. And he went out there, went on his head, and that was it. They lost their shit. They're like, we hate that. You know, it's like, like we're making fun of it. No, this is a young kid way back in the days that nobody else would have imagined that he can spin on his head. He, he, he would do one shot. And his footwork was awful. But for back in the time, he was right on point, you know? And so why he picked us? 
I don't know. If we were bad, why would you pick us? He called me. And then, you know, Ken keeps talking about that we stole their their suits and all of that, which is a lie. We kept looking for other things and we didn't have enough money from what they gave us. Finally, we saw these doctor suits. I didn't know what, what you guys were doing. I didn't care what you guys were doing. You didn't matter to me. But for us to look good, that mattered to me. So what did we do? We were in Burgundy. Burgundy were the main guys, right? Then there was um, Tan. Tan were the juniors. Um, uh, maybe that they were the, yeah, the juniors. And then there was um, the same color that they had. The gray was for um, the poppers and all of that stuff. I think it was the other way around. Beige was for the poppers and for the for the dancers were, were be, um, gray. And then the last ones were black for the girls. So we came dressed in a bunch of different ways with the suits. We didn't care what, what you guys were doing. We don't want to follow you guys. You guys, we will never follow you guys. We've always been ahead of it from you guys, man. We, we, we know what we want and who we are. And no one else is going to tell us who we are. We're still here, dynamic rockers, man. And the people that were there that saw it, Gino, um, from, from the, um, New York City Breakers, they seen it. They seen us doing the windmills. People keep talking about how other people are making windmills, all of this other stuff. And why can't we just be truth about what we've done? You've done, I mean, the credible breakers have done amazing things. And so, so did, um, you know, us and so did Vox Steady. And there was other crews too, you know, um, nobody talks about the, the, the group from, um, what's, what's the name of their feet? Scrambling. The ones yeah, in the low east side. Scrambling huh? feet. Yeah, scrambling feet rockers. Scrambling feet, man. Yeah, they were dope. Mm -hmm. And they beat us one time too. And then we came back with a routine called um um well, scrambled eggs. That's what we called it. And we scrambled it and they looked at us, they were like, What the hell? And then we did it with but we had a routine because I, I used to make routines to make it like, you know, different. And the, the whole thing was dancing. So what uh, I, I I have like um, some books with with the images and in the image one person that I see there he's kind of crouched down he's in the inner circle is icy ice was icy ice part of dynamic yes mm. K one K one is 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 from us I mean there's so many people he um what's his name that passed away he he was part of us he went through us um. Um, fast, um, fast break went through us. Um, finesse that went to all the way to uh, Miami came through us. Icy Ice was Little Glide. <laughs> yes, we had all these people, and people keep thinking that we are these chumps over here. We created so many people when, once they saw us with our outfits and all of this stuff. So many people wanted to be with us. And, I, you know, we took care of those people. We taught people. Oz. Oz came and Lincoln Center, and he was part of us. I mean, I can keep going. There's so many people. The 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 the, 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 the body mechanics, a lot of them learned from us. I just got together again with Tiny. Little Tiny was a guy that was doing 90s way beyond everybody else back in those days. And yet he talks about me and what I've done in the, in, in this situation. Now we have these haters, man, that just the dynamic breakers really didn't do anything special. They stole everything I did. And then two years later, they were done. They never wanted to do it again. They just wanted to make money. And that doesn't work in the culture. The culture is about feeding the culture. And growing in the culture. And that's how it is. We, we kept going. We kept Talk going. Us, here we are. Talk to us about... So I've heard the stories about Beach Street. Um, and, you know, obviously they had the big competition at the Roxy. And from what I understood, and correct me if I'm wrong, please. From what I understood, the the winners of that, the winners were... Were, was it dynamic rockers or the dynamic breakers? breakers? The, dynamic the breakers. But, but here's the deal, and that these people want to deny everything. At first, they said dynamic rockers because they had already told me that we were going to be in the movie. So they kept that name that way. But when they then it took like a half an hour, they stopped everything. And then later on, they said dynamic breakers. So we were called first. And we all got cheery. Oh my God, we thought we won. And then they took it away from us, which is okay. We still, they wanted us in third place or whatever, whatever it was. But 
they already knew because we already had spoken to them that we were going to do the movie. It was already us from the beginning. I would have thought, here's what I would have thought. Yeah. Uh, again, knowing the rivalry, you know, you, you know, the rivalry at Negril between the floor masters and, and rock steady, but then there's obviously the rivalry between rock steady and dynamic. I would have and us in, in New York city. I, I, I'll tell you why. Oh, okay. The people who gave us a problem, because we did the second, that's incredible with them. And I was, we were the only ones doing um, windmills except for Chino. Chino was doing them very slow too. But by the second time that we battled again, he was a lot faster. And I, I'll tell you what, against them, they were way better than Rocksteady as well. They gave us competitions and they've beaten us and we've beaten them. And we are friends because of all the things we grew together. We came out of nowhere and we pushed each other to make this special. And we did, including Rocksteady. They were part of talk, it. Talk to me. Tell me your honest opinion. We, yes. The famous, the famous battle scene, right? In, yes. In, in Roxy and in Beach Street. Right. Um, who, who were the standout breakers? Who won the battle in your estimation? Who stood out and who won? New York City, um, New York City breakers. Wait, I just think that they had a lot more stuff and a lot more speed and a lot more flavor. And yeah, they had Buck and Kiriaki. They were good. They they did bring it and make it better and closer. But other than that, I don't know what to say. I mean, to me, yeah, no, I, I think I think I definitely thought New York City took yeah. it because there was just more. I love what you said. There was more flavor. There was more. It, it was just they just brought something. Um, I definitely loved Kuriaki. I loved Buck. I love Kenny. Um, I yeah. love legs. I yeah. did. Um, I, you know, baby love was okay. I thought her mu her move was cute. You know, um, uh, who's the other guy? Um, uh, Doze. No. Eh, you know, he was okay. But I I think New York City took that. Uh, definitely, definitely, Man, uh, absolutely, without a doubt. In 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 closing, they they were like our ch ba baby child. Mm -hmm. Right, New York City Breakers was a combination of Rocksteady and Dynamic Rockers, and that's what they say. They became like they started going with the you know power stuff and learning all of that stuff, and they didn't, right? Uh, they, but they kept with their flavor with Rocksteady, so they had both of them, and and it was great. And they pushed us, but you know we had some amazing like Wavy Legs. If you if you ever find out about Wavy Legs, man, like who was it that I um, Fast Break? He told me, he said, yo, Wavy Legs was like, he was a problem because he was like a ballerina doing his full work. He was so smooth and so like, you know, an Ecuadorian, bro. Badass, bro. He was the best in our crew for a long time. So was Kid Breeze and so was I. And Spinner for a little bit too. So the four of us, you know, we pushed it and pushed it because Spinner is also a perfect A in both. Popping and breaking. He was great in both of those. And that's that doesn't come easy. I, I don't know anybody else who's just as good as him on both sides. In closing, what would you like to say to people listening um, about this dance, about this history, about this discussion, about this quote-unquote argument? Leave us with some words, bro. At the end of the day, we together made this happen and we're still making it happen. Why not continue to bring in as much as we can until one day that we can do bigger, better things than that, that what we're doing right now. The, the other countries are freaking way ahead of us. We got some people working here that are going to get to that place. My son knows all these people all over the place and works with them all over the place. And, some somehow, some way, we're gonna have to have that challenge from all the countries against each other. Um, I'm looking forward to that, and I'm grateful for everything that I've learned and and, and went through. And here I am. I still love the culture. I'm actually getting ready to lose more weight so I can battle one more time. I just got a new diet plan, and I'm about to do this, man, because I wanna I wanna call some people out like I did in the past. I wanna knock on their door, and so. Love this. This culture, man, 
has changed so many people and it's got a lot of differences and it's okay to be different. Your opinion is yours and I respect you, but respect my opinion and respect that person's opinion. And let's stop talking about the black and Puerto Rican stuff. Maybe it's two different stories, all right? Maybe that is the real West Side story. You guys were over here and we were over here. So peace. Big thing gladly say I'm coming to you live, man, and I'm very grateful to be on here with you, my friend. God bless you and I'll see you soon.